what's up guys it's carl here man today we're going to be testing out workrooms and as you guys can see i'm in virtual reality and i have my uh oculus quest 2 headset on as you can see on this camera um we're just going to go through some of the features here on the um workrooms so now we're in and we're sharing the screen and now you guys get to see um basically what's on the screen while you're in vr the cool thing about it is you can look at this from the virtual reality standpoint or you can kind of look at this where you can um, basically say you know what i want to see the screen don't care about seeing it in virtual reality for the sake of this video we're going to watch it like this and <clears throat> I'm going to just show you guys a few features, things that it can do. Uh, as you can see, I'm moving around in the workrooms, and this will be how it will basically look um, when you have your virtual headset on. So I can turn and look at you guys now, and then I can turn to my computer, which you really can't see in virtual reality, but it is kind of grayed out, and my keyboard is also here. And if I move my keyboard, you can kind of see my keyboard moving on my desk. So um, that's that. And it is, let's see. Let's go ahead and start just playing around a little bit. So let's say, for example, we were here and we wanted to dive into some Power BI or something, right? So. Let's go here. Yes, I have Power BI on my Mac. <laughs> For all you Power BI enthusiasts out there, I am uh, definitely a Power BI guy. So um, we don't want it to take up the entire screen just yet, um, mainly because I don't want to really get hung up. So this is uh, Power BI pulled up. And now as you're inside of workrooms, you can kind of go over some, you know, things going on from a Power BI standpoint, as well as, you know, if there was a training class that I wanted to do or teach some people some Power BI in virtual reality. Now we can all join this workroom and I can talk through, you know, how to do Power BI from scratch. I can go here, start a new page. And from that new page, I can just basically start building out uh, Power BI scenarios. Let's say for example, we had a PowerPoint presentation to do. And now we're kind of, you know, setting up to do a PowerPoint. So I can come here, start saying, you know, something as such. So now I'm doing this PowerPoint live. So the team is able to kind of watch what I'm doing live as well as if other people were in here, they'll be able to do, you know, stuff that they wanted to do as well as share their screens. So now we're just taking a look into our email. So you guys can kind of see um, my email. Now, if, if I wanted to come here and show you guys how to do something in email, now all I have to do is pull up my email. And if we want to just do something real quick, we can go to calendar and you wanted to go ahead and teach these people or teach a classroom how to set some email templates up so that anytime you want to schedule a meeting or something like that, you don't have to always type it up. You can say, all right, guys, join me in the work rooms. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Once everybody get here, you bring up your Outlook calendar. They can see the screen and you can they can see you, which is me. And then you can start working through how to do that. You tell them, bring up your Outlook, bring up your calendar, go up here to new appointment. Once you go to new appointment, go to view templates. You want to hit plus. So we're going to call this standard meeting. And then in that, we're going to put some, just some standard stuff. So in a standard meeting, we would do an over, let's just say we'll start every standard meeting off with an icebreaker, get the team comfortable with talking, and then we'll do an overview. 
and then we'll go into topic of the month or something and then we'll go into sales just talk about sales and then we'll go about we'll talk about some customer focused stuff and then we can say let's come up with some ideas and then at, at the closing of that particular meeting if it's standard we'll just open the, the last part up for discussion let's spell discussion right so discussion and then you save that template down now you have a template for a standard meeting so you can come here oops I did it twice clicked it twice so whenever you're setting up a meeting now you can come here to a standard meeting click add the title call it weekly add the location or whatnot and then save and close it boom another thing I can do while I'm in this workroom which is also cool as you guys can kind of sit back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my seat so now you get to see me move closer to the screen and I'm further away from you but what I could do is customize this room so while you're still here if I customize this room and change the layout to a conversation style layout now you get to see me and we're looking at each other so we can have a conversation so I'm looking straight on at you and I can also if, if you don't want to be looking directly at me I can go ahead and change my seat so now that I've changed my seat you can still see me I can see the screen which the screen is here you are here and we can still have a conversation now if I change this layout to presentation style now you're looking at me from a further distance and you really can't see the screen but you can also but you get an opportunity to see some of the art that I've added to the room which is just a picture right over there of my son playing baseball now with this even though I'm doing a presentation style I think the disadvantage here is you being you being able to see the screen but you can you can see the class or you can see the room and another and another location I can move to since it's a presentation style setup as I can move to the presenters table now I'm sitting in the presenters table and I'm looking at the class so now it's kind of like I'm in a situation where I'm the teacher of the class right and I can see the class right here and we're able to kind of you know interact back and forth and what you can do on your end is now you can say all right I want to you know see if you want to see the screen you go here and you can see the screen so now that I'm doing a presentation style this is the opportunity where you can say all right let's just let me just look at the screen another thing I can do is I can change this room theme so right now you can see that out those windows you have uh, look like some towns behind us if I change this scene to a city bright you'll see the scene change as I change it and now you get to see a different setup in the, in the room so it's a little bit more bright it's a little bit more vibrant in the room and the next thing we can do while we're here is I can go to the whiteboard now this is going to be interesting so in order for me to go to the whiteboard what I have to do is I have to turn all the way right here and I have to stand at the whiteboard so let me not forget my alright so now I'm at the whiteboard let me just stand right here while I'm at the whiteboard and I can get back around here so now you basically see me at the whiteboard and I'm up here kind of you know um, demonstrating if you will at the whiteboard and I'm just kind of using the whiteboard as an opportunity to point another cool thing we can do is we can watch videos together 
So say for example, I wanted to go to YouTube and now we have all these awesome videos that we can look at. And let's just say we wanted to watch this video together. Now you get the opportunity to watch this video all in one group together with uh, everybody on your uh, team or everybody within your workroom. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial uh, showing of workrooms. I had an opportunity to just go ahead and test the room myself. The next time we do this, we will probably try to pull in some of my friends so we can all kind of play around in here, cut up a little bit. I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. My name is Carl. Let's continue to learn on the go as we grow.